when 911 happened, and I'll finish with this, I was in Hawaii. I was with 2,000 people from 45 countries. We were translating four languages simultaneously for a program that I was conducting for a week. The night before was called Emotional Mastery. I got up, had no plan for this, and I said, we had all this fireworks, I do crazy shit, fun stuff. And then at the end I stopped, and I had this plan I was gonna say, but I never do what I'm gonna say. And all of a sudden I said, when do people really start to live when they face death? And then I went through this whole thing about if you were gonna get off this island, if nine days from now you were gonna die, who would you call, what would you say, what would you do? One woman, well that night is when 9-1-1 happened. One woman had come to the seminar, and when she came there, she, her previous boyfriend had been kidnapped and murdered. Her friend, or her new boyfriend, wanted to marry her, and she said no. He said, if you leave and go to that Hawaii thing, it's over with us. She said, it's over. When I finished that night, she called him and left a message, true story, at the top of the World Trade Center where he worked, saying, honey, I love you. I just want you to know, I, I want to marry you. It was stupid of me. She was asleep, because it was 3 a.m. for us, when he called her back from the top and said, honey, I can't tell you what this means. He said, I don't know how to tell you this, but you give me the greatest gift, because I'm going to die. And she played the recording for us in the room. She was on Larry King later. And he said, you're probably wondering how on earth this could happen to you twice. And he said, all I can say to you is, this must be God's message to you, honey, from now on, every day, give your all, love your all. Don't let anything ever stop you. She finishes, and a man stands up and he says, I'm from Pakistan, I'm a Muslim. I'd love to hold your hand and say I'm sorry, but frankly, this is retribution. I can't tell you the rest because I'm out of time. seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds. No, I want to be respectful. 10 seconds. All I can tell you is I brought this man on stage with a man from New York who worked in the World Trade Center because I had about 200 New Yorkers there. More than 50 had lost their entire companies, their friends, marking off their palm pilots. One financial trader, this woman made a steal, bawling. 30 friends crossing off that all died. And what I did to people is said, what are we going to focus on? What does this mean? Or was it, what are we going to do? And I took the group and got people to focus on, if you didn't lose somebody today, your focus could be how to serve somebody else. There are people, there were one who got up and she was so angry and screaming and yelling. They found she wasn't from New York, she's not an American, she doesn't know anybody here. I said, you always get angry. She said, yes. Guilty people got guilty, sad people got sad. And I took these two men and did what I call an indirect negotiation. Jewish man with family in the occupied territory, some New York who would have died if he was at work that day. And this man who wanted to be a terrorist and made it very clear. And the integration that happened is on a film, which I'll be happy to send you, so you can really see what actually happened instead of my verbalization of it. But the two of them not only came together and changed their beliefs and models of the world, but they've worked together to bring, for almost four years now, to various mosques and synagogues the idea of how to create peace. And he wrote a book, which is called My Jihad, My Way of Peace. So transformation can happen. So my invitation to you is this. Explore your web, the web in here. The needs, the beliefs, the emotions that are controlling you for two reasons. So there's more of you to give. Yeah, achieve too. We all want to do it. But I mean, give. Because that's what's going to fill you up. And secondly, so you can appreciate, not just understand, that's intellectual, that's mind, but appreciate what's driving other people. It's the only way our world's going to change. God bless you. Thank you. I hope this was served. Thank you, Robin.